the death sentence for anyone practicing the black arts. However, his law went unheeded. By the late Middle Ages, satanic black masses were attended by royals and aristocrats in Vienna, Paris, Venice, and London. King Henry VIII came to the throne knowing that psychics, magicians, and mystics with knowledge of necromancy had been on permanent employment with the royal court. In 1538, Mabel Brigg was executed in York for trying to kill Henry VIII using the so-called Black Fast, where the sorcerer performs a hunger strike inside a magic circle whilst directing the wrath of spirits against the victim. In 1429, it was disclosed through letters written by Jean of Navarre that she was a member of a coven of witches which operated right in the, operated right in the heart of the English royal court. One of her fellow witches was the wife of one of her stepsons, Eleanor Cobham, who was married to Humphrey, Duke of Gloucester. Eleanor Cobham was arrested on the 25th of June, 1441, at the King's Head Tavern in Cheapside, London, and stood trial for witchcraft. Her husband was the heir to the British throne. Another royal witch was soon exposed, the Duchess Jacquette of Saint Paul, who was married to another brother of Henry V. She stood in a witchcraft tribunal, which heard evidence suggesting that she had ensured her daughter's marriage using talismans and black magic. A frenzy of satanic ritual was eventually exposed at the heart of the royal courts of Britain and France by several 19th century historians. Catherine de' Medici, the Queen of France, performed several satanic black masses for the benefit of the royal aristocratic elite. French author Jean Baudin wrote a book about witchcraft recounting that in the 1600s Catherine Monvoisin and the priest Etienne Guiborg performed black masses for the mistress of the King of France. is a satanic parody of the Roman Catholic Mass, often involving the ritual murder of a virgin. Alistair Crowley wrote extensively about ritual sacrifice and recommended that a child under the age of nine of above average intelligence made the ideal sacrificial victim. Much to the horror of the 17th century royal elite, Etienne Guiborg publicly confessed that the mistress of King Louis XIV of France, Madame de Montespan, would lie naked upon a satanic altar with a chalice of wine infused with intoxicating herbs on her bare stomach. She would hold two black candles in each of her outstretched hands. The Royal Black Mass, combined with a family tradition of cruelty 
and outright evil would be continued into the 1700s by the aristocrat known as the Marquis de Sade. The de Sade family were members of France's oldest nobility. The Marquis de Sade repeatedly abused young prostitutes in his castle at Lacoste in France. He wrote about pornographic orgies and ritualized sexual beatings involving monks, priests, and even the Pope himself. Sard avoided a prison sentence by claiming insanity and spent most of his life in a comfortable mental asylum. In the asylum, the Marquis de Sade immediately began an affair with a 13-year-old girl called Madeleine Leclerc. Sade died in 1814. His death marked a new era of Satanism and murder at the royal courts of Britain, France and Russia. Witch hunts of the Middle Ages took place all over Europe and even in the United States of America. However, witch hunts in the Russian Imperial Empire were much more rare. To this very day, a huge number of Russian people are attributed with psychic power. In the 19th century, the Russian Romanov royal family employed a powerful hypnotist and mystic. He has become known as the Mad Monk, Grigory Rasputin. The story of Rasputin exemplifies the psychopathic nature of the monarchy. Rasputin was a self-styled monk and therefore had friends in the Russian Orthodox Church. Rasputin had endured poverty, giving him the common touch with the peasant population of Russia. He was revered as someone who could heal, therefore bringing him notoriety across the vast empire of Imperial Russia. Rasputin was also someone who could entertain the company of royalty. Rasputin was seen as a threat by the Romanov royal dynasty. Grigory Rasputin may have actually become Russia's first truly popular leader had he not been poisoned and murdered by one of the royal princes. Born in 1869, the mystical Grigory Rasputin could engage himself in an intense trance where he prophesied future events. His psychic healing powers were employed by Tsar Nicholas and Queen Alexandra. Rasputin used his famous healing hands to cure the Tsar's son. Once the royal Romanov dynasty saw the immense power of Rasputin, they quickly realized that a popular revolt may elevate Rasputin to be the leader of a new Russian Republic. The Romanov royal family immediately plotted the murder of Rasputin. However, Rasputin's psychic powers allowed him to prophesy his own death and he gave warning to Tsar Nicholas that if he were to murder Rasputin then the whole Romanov royal family would also be killed.
on New Year's Eve 1916, Prince Felix Yusupov invited Rasputin to the Moika Palace in St. Petersburg. The prince gave Rasputin poisoned food. However, Rasputin showed no sign of dying. Prince Felix panicked and rushed out of the palace to consult Grand Duke Dmitri. The Duke and Prince returned with a gun and shot Rasputin at point-blank range. A palace doctor was called who could find no sign of life in the body of Rasputin. However, suddenly Rasputin regained consciousness and the prince and the duke ran for the outer gate of the palace and called for armed troops to finish off Rasputin. Rasputin chased the duke and prince. The crowned prince took a club and hit Rasputin repeatedly over the head in a typically psychopathic royal temper. Palace guards were ordered to wrap Rasputin in a heavy curtain and he was then lowered to his death in the icy cold River Neva. Thus, the Russian people lost one of their truly great potential leaders. Soon after, a bloodbath would take place in Imperial Russia and the dictatorial, cruel system of the Romanov monarchy would be continued by a fake revolutionary communist government who secretly took their orders from the royal political elite. Descendants of the Russian monarchy and aristocracy now rule Russia from behind the scenes having introduced the same system of globalization and stock markets which the royal elite have used to ensnare the economies of most countries on the face of planet Earth. the most cruel and bloodthirsty homicides ever perpetrated in Britain were the so-called Jack the Ripper murders which occurred in East London during 1888. This was more than just murder. The so-called Jack the Ripper murders were ritual bloodbaths. The victims were slaughtered according to the oaths of loyalty sworn by members of the Masonic religion. Now, for the first time on film, we can reveal the truth about Jack the Ripper. Diaries written by Inspector Abiline of Scotland Yard at the time of the Ripper murders have been held in safekeeping by Joseph Sickert, whose father was an artist who gave art lessons to Prince Albert Victor, the heir to the throne of the British Empire in the 19th century. Prince Albert Victor was known as Prince Eddie. He was the son of Queen Alexandra and the grandson of Queen Victoria. During the last 120 years, Royal spin doctors have led the public to believe that Queen Victoria was popular. She was not. Often hissed in public, Queen Victoria was a German, and so was her husband. <laughs> 